Okay, here's somewhat of a more uh, normal video than some of my previous ones. I always talk about coffee, so it's time to show you my coffee cups. And there's a bunch of them. It's ridiculous. And this ain't even all of them, but I'm, I'm going to go through them real quick. Let's start over here. Um, I'm sure you can read it. It's upside down. Starbucks. I have a lot of Starbucks ones. We'll see. Let's just kind of make our way through here and, and see what we find. I'm not even going to say anything. Let's just keep going. <laughs> IHOP. I mean, you gotta have an IHOP cup, right? This is actually uh, Starbucks. No, this is Pete's. There we go. I almost said Starbucks. Whoopsies. Let's see what else we have back here. Ooh, Martin Logan. Fancy. Greater Goods Coffee Company, Austin, Texas. There we go. C6 Corvette. <clears throat> I think this came with a bunch of chocolates and a bear, and it was some, I don't know, one of those big gift things you get. Another Corvette, C506. Oh, screw that. That's a speaker company. They screwed me over. Weirdo, but, you know, Starbucks. What the frig is this? Don't know. Anyways. Get some. Forgot where that came from. Ah, oh, there we go. Airport Diner, man. Manchester, New Hampshire. Some of the best breakfast. Biscuits, gravy, hash, eggs. You name it. Java. Coffee. This is a nice cup here. This is a Starbucks Reserve. The Reserve logo. They used to call it Black Apron Coffee and some of their specialty coffee. And uh, Cassia Cielo was very good. I remember that stuff. Something that came with the probably more Valentine's Day gifts and whatnot. Starbucks, 2012 even. Cool. Upside down, but you get the idea. I think this is a Bodum mug. Maybe it's somewhere else, but clear. Kind of neat. These are two different Starbucks cups. Very popular, but there's two different versions of them. You may or may not be able to see the difference. Of course you can if you stare at it for a little bit. Coffee Company, Coffee Co., right? Same, same, same on the other side. In the bottom, you look at the date. Yeah, we're upside down. We got 2000, 2001. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of noise. And this one is 2006. Another, another goofy little cup back here. Uh-oh. Where'd you come from? Sugar substitute. <laughs> Shit. All right, what do we have here? Oh, man, this was some of the best coffee that Starbucks had back in the day. Very good. Very good. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's see, what's this guy? Holy crap. Remember Hilo? Before it became O'Reilly? Last but not least, Mozart's Coffee Roasters, Lake Austin, Texas. The one coffee cup that I've been using, my daily driver, if you want to call it that, for the past 16 years... Right here, Subaru Technica International. I've had this coffee cup for 16 years. Well, now, uh, as long as I've had peaches, rest in peace. But this is my daily driver here, so there you go. Oh, before we go, I've got some coffee. If you haven't noticed. I just bought this. If you watch James Hoffman on YouTube... He's got, uh, he had a, a video where he put out, he, he went into the supermarket and he picked out like all the coffee in the supermarket and he, and he tried it out, did a blind taste test. And the winner was this one. i bring this down here for you. Phil's Silk and Splendor. I tried this. This is some of the nastiest coffee I've had. 
I don't know how this one, <laughs> it's, if you like charcoal, and if you like to clog your blender with all the oils, then this is for you. But this is not a medium blend. I'll tell you what coffee just blew my mind. Uh, now I'm looking at supermarket coffee. And I bought this one on a whim the other night. This is the winner. This coffee here, there's three three versions of this now. They're on variant three, and it's it's okay. It's better than the second, but the first one was absolutely beautiful. This is right behind it. Well, actually, I think this one is better than Greater Goods, and this is my go-to. This one right here, and they have different variants. Blew my socks off. Super, it is rich. Smooth, it's it's dark. It's uh, I'd call it a medium dark, but it's the notes in the mouth feel. It's de definitely heavily bodied and high, you know, heavy on the chocolate. You read these descriptions on the flavor profiles, and they're hit or miss, really. Uh, but this one is very, very much so chocolatey, and I freaking love it. Good stuff. I forget what I paid for this, but uh, hopefully you can find this in your grocery store. Or, or give it a shot. Don't waste your money on the, the fills, for sure. And if you watched Project Farm on YouTube, you will know that he just came out with his coffee. And that jumpstart, you know, light, medium, dark. And he's absolutely right. This is light, this is medium, and this is dark. This one might be, you know, medium dark. But I'll say this light medium roast is not your typical light blonde roast. It's super clean, smooth, and friggin' just awesome. I'm not a light roast guy, but this one is awesome. This is good. And this has just blown me away. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching this much. Silly, I know. Coffee cups. but And there's more floating around the house and then the dishwasher and in the sink and all that stuff. So, all right. Catch you on the next one.